Alright, what's up you guys? This is Uprising here. This is actually going to be on a Q&A segment video that I'm probably going to post up probably Tuesday. Um, so if it's not Tuesday, then I'm going to post it up on Wednesday. The only reason why I'm going to post it up on Tuesday this week is because I actually am going to a college to sign up for classes on Wednesday. So I might not have time. So I'm going to go ahead and put it up maybe early for you guys as well as I'm going to write my blog early for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get to the uh, topic. It's my Q&A. Um, segment for my first episode actually second episode or first episode I'm not sure which one but I actually do have a list of questions I'm gonna go through I'm gonna go ahead and read all of them and then um, yeah so I'm, I guess I'll go ahead and get started okay first question is by Team Debris 2010 what are your predictions for the next ban list okay so I quickly uh, touched on this on a Facebook group that I was recently invited to by tbird325 I'm gonna go ahead and leave his link up there tbird325 yeah he deserves a shout out for me I don't think I've given him a shout out before so tbird325 there's your link buddy he's a really really good person uh, tbird um, invited me to this group and uh, same question popped up on the Facebook group what are my predictions for the next man list okay TrueNade's got to go. That was the first thing I have to say. TrueNade will be banned, okay? Not a lot of people have answers to TrueNade as much as Heavy Storm. That's why, that's why I believe that Heavy Storm will come back. They'll probably put MST back to 1 if they, if they um, have Heavy come back. But they got to ban TrueNade, you know? People at least have answers like, like Stardust Dragon, Starlight Road, you know, anything that destroys, you know? Nothing that, they really can't do anything to a TrueNade unless they bribe or even Solomon. So, bribe, or not bribe, but heavy to one, true nade banned, MST to one. Reborn Tengu is another thing that everyone has been, you know, bitching about. Reborn Tengu will go to two. I'm sorry. Like, I have money that Reborn Tengu will go to two. Regardless of uh, Reborn Tengu being a TCG exclusive, um, you know, Allure of Darkness was a TCG exclusive, for, and then um, I think it got E banned, you know? So, look at that. You know, for everybody that's saying TCG, TCG exclusives cannot get banned until the OCG gets it, I know the whole entire thing. But look at Allure of Darkness, and then look at Reborn Tengu. You know, Allure of Darkness was doing really, really good at 3. Like, it was almost broken. At, it was broken at 3. But look at Reborn Tengu, you know. It's been consistently topping every event that has been going on. Getting first, like, at least first place, yeah. Any deck that runs Reborn Tengu is, like, in my opinion, an immediately tiered deck. Even, like, anything. Reborn Tengu has got to go to 2. Um... Mind Control is going to get banned because Mind Control is so freaking good. Regardless, just like almost like Brain Control, but I think that Mind Control is a little bit better. Even though you can't attack with it, you can still exceed something with it. Mind Control, I think, is going to get banned. Um, Lone Fire to 1, they got to slow down the plant engine a little bit this way. I think that, you know, it can like limit the power of the plant engine, but it won't completely kill it. Completely killing it would be like banning Dandelion. You don't want to do that. You just want to go ahead and put that Loom Fire to one. Um, what else do I want to say? I think Necrogar. I like honestly. I think Necrogar should go to two. But now that I think about it, I'm like, no, it's too. It would be too splashable in every deck because we got like two Car Trooper. I think JD should go to one. I hit. Yeah, you heard me say. It. You heard me say. It. JD is such a powerful card. It, to this day, it is one of the most broken cards in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh. And well, honestly, JD just needs to go to one. Lumina or something like that needs to go back to two because honestly, Light Swords cannot really do much with one Lumina. I mean, two JD and one Lumina. I mean. I'd rather, like, me and a couple of my Lightsworn friends on Facebook, we'd rather have one JD, two Lumina. I mean, it helps us out a lot, you know. In many ways, Lumina is a lot better than JD, even though JD can nuke the whole entire field. Lumina to two would just help us out a lot. Um, that's pretty much anything that I can really cover. Oh, yes, the whole Sangin getting banned. I believe Sangin will get banned if they keep the, if they keep the TCG XYZ rulings. Um... Because it's just too good with Levier, Dragon, and Tour Guide. So, that's it. Um, my, the next question is the deck box channel. It's like, what de what do you think will be the tier decks in the future? Um, I really do believe Lightsworn will be a tier 2 deck. So come on, um, whenever we get the new jump promos, like the subscription promos. And you'll see that in a later episode of uh, Enlighten the Lightsworns. Um, the tier 1 decks, in my opinion, will probably be 
Dark Worlds, um, Dark World, Dark Worlds with Tour Guide is just stupid. Grapha is pretty much like, un, like, and that like invincible almost unless you're maining D figures. Um, I believe Gladiator Beast will be another top tier deck because they've always been a top tier deck. Maybe with Lanista coming out and stuff like that, that could change up some play styles. Running like Icarus Glads as well as um. Rescue Glads with Rescue Rabbit and Andal. You might think that that sounds really, really bad, but it's actually a pretty, pretty solid deck. You know, it goes off when it's go when it goes off. It's really, really like um, Prisma Glads. So I believe that will be a tier deck. Um, that's all I can really think of right now. So I mean, X Sabers is always a really good deck, but with Japan getting Dark Soul, they might hit Dark Soul in some way. I'm not sure. So anything with Rescue Rabbit will get will be pretty good. Um, so yeah. Uh, Neo Dro asks, "What will be your tech choices come September for your new Lightsworn deck build?" Dude, there's so much. You know, there's fucking Dark Lords. I mean, I'm gonna be testing a really really solid Christia Swarm build on like probably Dual Network if I want to. I mean, there's just so much. I mean. I want I, I, I can't say a lot because I want to save it for my next week's episode. So if you really want to know what my tech choices will be for my uh, post September ban list lightsworn build, go ahead and just wait until Tuesday until I put up my line in lightsworn build. Um, Pop of the Dawn asks uh, Pop of the Dawn four one five asks pancake or waffles. Um, I always liked Waffle House, so waffles. Uh, MW card stop like do you like tacos burritos or both I actually like tacos and burritos so I guess I like both hey what does the tattoo on your chest say this was asked by team freshness can you see it can you see it? it says let the light shine in I don't know because in the video camera it's backwards so it says let the light shine in it's something that my dad always told me so honestly I just wanted to get something that he told me um and huh, we're out of breath. Yeah, it's something that he always told me, and I actually got this tattoo whenever um, he was going through a hard time, and I didn't think that he would make it and stuff. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and get one of these because that way, whenever he was, you know, still alive, that he would notice that I uh, got a tattoo pretty much in his honor. So it says, "Let the light shine in." Okay, the last question was from Area Villa One Hundred. What is your favorite deck to play and your favorite mat art? Okay, this is my favorite card. This is my favorite card of all time, pretty much. People know me because I continuously play this deck, no matter what format it is. This is my all-time favorite card, and if it wasn't, I wouldn't get it signed by my girlfriend. So to answer your question, Area Villa 100, my all-time favorite deck, and it will include this monster, so, my all-time favorite deck will always be Penguin Soldier FTK. You get it? Because, you know, Penguin Soldier can't really FTK because you have to set it because it has a flip effect, and I said FTK, so it can't FTK. Yeah. My favorite mat art, on the other hand, will have to be probably the JD Summer 28, I want to believe. 2008, somewhere in there. Um... The summer regional map, pretty much Judge and Dragon map from whenever UDE was still running it. Um, if you guys have that map, please PM me because I'm looking for some and I'm willing to overpay. Like, not will buy a lot, probably like five or ten bucks overpay for that map. You know, I actually really, really want that map. So, yeah. All right, guys. So that's gonna wrap up my Q and A segment for today, which is Wednesday. Uh, if you guys have questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments. You know, I still want to keep the segment alive, and I want to get a lot more questions. And uh, I know in that first question about the ban list, I rambled on a little bit. I made this video kind of long. I'm sorry, but I had to go over, like, some of the topics, like, some topics that I really wanted to get off my chest. So, like I said, if you guys have comment or if you guys have questions, leave them in the comments, because I do want to keep the segment alive. Um... Yeah, so that's pretty much going to be it. Thank you guys for posting the questions below. I gave a shout out and I left everyone's link. I left a question in the description box below. So go ahead and check out those people. And thank you guys again for leaving com or leaving questions in the comments. Um, next Wednesday, I'll have another episode of this up. So guys, uh, just really just pay attention to 
not really, yeah, check, just check in occasionally on Wednesday to see whenever I post this up. Also on Wednesdays, I do have a new blog that's going to be posted up, like I said, around 6 or 7 o'clock. So if you guys want, you guys can go ahead and uh, check out my blog spot, which I'll also leave a link down below in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to leave the questions in the comments. Thanks, guys. Peace out.